Hello curl friends, welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and today I'm going to be bringing you a new line. I'm gonna be testing two different types, or a portion of the products on this side and a portion of the products on this side. So the brand I'm going to be bringing you today is Aussie Miracle Curls. I've been wanting you to try this because I've used their Aussie leave-in conditioner for a long time, and this is not part of that line, but I, I've always, love that conditioner. I love the smell. I love how it works. And so I wanted to try this line. Um, it's affordable. You can easily get it. Uh, Walmart has it. Target has it. All your local drugstores have it. And so I started out with the Cur the Miracle Curls Co-Wash. This co-wash, um, it says it contains coconut and Australian jojoba oil, and it has a low lather and light proteins in it. And I've never used a co-wash before until this day, and I was nervous about it because my hair is easily weighed down, being that it is fine texture. And um, the products that I used the previous wash time, I was testing some of these products out, and I wasn't sure if it would leave my hair, like leave a film on my hair. So I used the co-wash though, and then I used a deep conditioner that was more protein heavy because these products do not have heavy proteins in it and my hair likes that. I wanted to give it the best possible chance to thrive, so to say. So um, the co-wash did, I did enjoy it. I did think it came out um, pretty good. It's a low lather and I did have to use a lot or maybe I didn't and it just felt like I needed to use more because it was low lathering. But it worked through my hair well my scalp did feel cleansed and so yeah so the next product i'm going to be bringing you is the miracle curls leave-in detangling milk and this detangles nasty knots to leave strands feeling soft and smooth you can comb through damp hair and detangle gently with a wide tooth comb this does have some silicones in it and some light proteins so i am going to get a little bit out I already have some in the side of the hair. I had to do a rinse out and restart over, but um, yeah, this is a milky color, um, a medium consistency, I would say. Using this was my first time, I should say, using a, a milky detangler. I've never used hair milks before. My detanglers or leave-ins have always been clear, but I do enjoy this. It kind of just melts the tangles. So I've run this through with my fingers. I'm going to run it through with a wide tooth comb next. And this just glides through without a problem. The next product we're going to be using is the Miracle Curls Frizz Taming Cream. And this reduces frizz, adds shine. You can do this to wet or dry hair. And there are silicones in this. Now I used this in my last wash day trying to test these products and this is a very thick cream. So you can see that there that it is thick, at least thick by the standards that I usually apply to my fine hair. Now when I used this product, I used the cream in the mousse last time and it did give me lots of shine but it almost kind of felt like an oily shine so i'm wondering if i'm going to get that again this time i did use a third product kind of to try to fix what i wasn't really enjoying and um i will try that kind of a little differently here okay so the other product then that i want to do is the mousse and this mousse reduces frizz and it's supposed to leave your curls touchable with volume and definition. And there are some light proteins in here. It says to apply on wet hair. So I'm gonna shake it. It does expand pretty good. I'm gonna get a little bit more. There we go. This is a light airy mousse. It does have like a, a whip, an egg white consistency.
I don't know if you can hear this, but there is a squash when I scrunch this. So that means that I have plenty of product and water in my hair. The last thing I want to try with this is the Curl Refresher Spray. And this is the item that I said I touched up with before. It says it's supposed to hold curls in place. You could put on clean, damp hair or dry hair and says then style has light proteins. I don't think I'm following directions completely and maybe I'm setting myself up for failure doing that, but I'm gonna give it a try this way. So I'm just gonna kind of spray it in, spray it throughout. And I'm going to scrunch that as well. So now I'm going to work on styling this side. And I have already used the uh, leave-in milk on this side, so I will not be adding any more to that. But what I'm going to work with then is the uh, Miracle Curls Cream Pudding. Or maybe it's pronounced creme pudding, I don't know. But it is supposed to have a light hold with no frizz throughout the day. Um, it's supposed to put on wet hair and it's great to air dry and there are some silicones in here. So I've never used a pudding before. And you can see it's kind of got that jiggly light, pudding-like consistency, I guess. So I was trying to find if this was, when it said it had light hold, if this was like a cream and gel mix. I couldn't get anything definitive, but we're gonna try out and learn together. So that's about the consistency. I really don't know what to say to describe that more than just showing you. And I really don't know how much to grab, so this is going to be a complete trial and error. This has great slip. It's going through my hair very well. I like that. I might, might get a little bit more. I feel like I am going to get a little bit more. So I'm just scraping off the lid, getting a little bit more. And I do not plan to air dry my hair. It's just gonna take too long. If I wanna finish up this video, I'm not gonna have time for it. Okay, I had added some more water and then added a little bit more of that pudding. And I could now feel my hair or hear my hair doing the scrunching, squishing sound. The last product I'm going to add is once again, dropping stuff, sorry, is once again the Curl Refresher spray on top of this, just to give it a little bit more hold. For fine hair, I love having hold in there. It helps keep my curls. Wow, my hands are super slippery. It just helps keep my curls lasting a little bit longer. I'm gonna scrunch this in once again. All right, I have both sides of my hair applied with product. I'm going to let this air dry for about 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20, maybe 15 or 20 minutes actually, and just let it form a little bit of a cast and I'm going to diffuse and I'll come back and I'll show you the results. Okay, I'm back before I diffuse, but I did just wanna show you how my hair is settling before I diffuse. I did plop for about 10 minutes just to try to keep that curl pattern to form in the clumps to stay hydrated. So once again, this is the side that I used the creme pudding and this is the side that I used the cream and the mousse. And then I sprayed that curl refresher on both sides. This side does feel like it has, yeah, this side feels like it has a little bit more of a hold and when I was looking in the mirror, it does look like it shrunk up a little bit more. This side seems to be a little bit more elongated, um, but I still have a very, a very light hold if there is any on here. So um, when I diffuse, this may tend to be a little bit more frizzy, but I'll just show you. This is the creme pudding side, the curls, and this is the regular frizz taming cream and the mousse. So, 
Okay, I'm gonna go diffuse now and then I'll come back and I'll show you the final result. Okay, so I'm back with my hair is fully dried and I have scrunched out the crunch and I have fluffed a little bit. Once again, I had troubles with my microphone, so I accidentally did it all off camera. But anyways, I used this Miracle Moist Intensive Hydration Oil. Um, it's not part of the curl line, but I had this already, so I thought I'd just use it any, rather than purchase another one that I thought would be similar. <clears throat> it is a thicker oil or serum, and uh, but I used about a little less than a pump on each side. Now, this is my cream and mousse side with the curl refresher on top and this is the pudding with the with the curl refresher on top and my thoughts on this is that before i scrunched out the crunch you could see it a little bit more but this side had a little bit more frizz and it might still let me get my mirror yeah it does have a this side has a little bit more frizz the curl pattern seems to be elongated just a little bit and but it does have some decent definition so not bad. And then this side with the pudding, this side seems to be a little bit more voluminous. And um, the definition is, is similar. And maybe not as many ringlets as I have on this side, but not bad. This side definitely had more of a cast after I um, diffused it. While I was diffusing, they both seemed to have a similar cast and they both dried about the same time. But after I had finished diffusing, this side had continued to hold more of a cast where this side was soft. So I analyzed the hair. I did a, uh, I scrunched out the crunch with the oil and I fluffed it a little bit. So my overall thoughts is that I'm a girl who likes me some hold. I'm gonna go with this. I also like the volume, which is another reason why I don't usually rock the center part. I do it from side to side to give it a little bit more fluff. But anyways, so tell me what you think about these products. Um, leave a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, let me know which side you like better. Are you team cream or team pudding? So once again, I am team pudding, but I like these products all in all. Um, they're cheap, they're easily accessible, and you can mix and match things. I think I'd like to try pairing this with a, maybe a gel in the future, I do have an Aussie uh, volumizing gel that I'd like to try with that. So I'm going to play around with these, see what works best, see if I can get even better results. And um, yeah, I recommend trying them too, especially if you're just starting out on your curly hair journey and you're not sure what your needs are. These are, like I said, easily accessible and affordable. You can't go wrong. Is it my best wash day? No, but it's not my worst either. So, all right, till next week and I see you again. Have a nice week. Bye.